Okay, so P average, the average pressure is two times the irradiance over the speed of light. And now I wanna know, is this real? Can we really see this? So I have a way to show you uh, radiation pressure. So I've got a couple things here. First, I have extremely light paper. So this is um, lens cleaning paper from my lab. We use it to delicately clean little microscope objectives, and it's very light. It's like mostly air. Right? There's a little bit of mass to it. So this is very light, and this is my green laser pointer, which I have sort of uh, juiced up a little bit. So, I mean, it's still legal, but it's a fairly powerful green laser pointer. So I'm gonna shine it on the back of this, and a lot of the light will scatter back because it's white. So we'll get sort of a 2P or a double minimum kick, and we'll see if anything happens, see if we can make it move a little bit. Okay, so it doesn't make a big motion, so you gotta look really close. That's why we have the, the close camera. And now this thing bounces around with the air conditioning, and, and I think the air conditioning's calm enough. Here we go. See that? Fell over. Let me try again. If I can get it down on it quick enough, it might actually slide. Amazing. Radiation pressure. How many believe me? Of course it's not radiation pressure. Way too small. I was blowing on it. Okay, all the demos are real. This is the one that I'm, I'm making fun of you. I blew it. It's a magic trick. Um, let's calculate if I should be able to see this radiation pressure. So let's see, the force, um, like I said, isn't the irradiance over the speed of light, it's the power over the speed of light. So power of my laser pointer is say 10 milliwatts. So that would be uh, 10 to the minus two watts. And the speed of light is three times 10 to the eight, right? So that is about 3.3 uh, times 10 to the minus 11 uh, newtons. So that's a pretty small force. Not impossible to measure, but pretty small. Let's put it in everyday uh, ideas. That's the weight of about three times 10 to the minus 12 kilograms. So it's the equivalent to the weight of that many kilograms. That's about the weight of a biological cell, right? So a mosquito is milligram. You gotta go down a factor of a million below a mosquito, get down to a single cell in the mosquito, and that's about how much force, the weight of that is about how much force I applied to the white paper, okay? That doesn't mean it's radiation pressure is not measurable. We can make a lot more power in a laser than 10 milliwatts. And we can actually measure forces about this small in the lab with specialized instruments. But in terms of everyday objects, you can't feel radiation pressure, it's too small. 